Oh, yeah. The simple pleasures of a little bit of garage door insulation can bring to a man in his shop. I tell you what, when the sun's hitting that side of the garage, that door ain't no 150, 200 degrees no more. Uh, this is a go-kart. Well, I know I ain't made a video in a long time. Got quite a <laughs> few new tools over the last six months, nine months, whatever it's been since I made my last video. Plans didn't really work out for getting everything working like that. Ended up getting a truck. Three days later, ended up getting a tractor for 25 bucks. I mean, who the hell turns down a tractor for $25? I mean, seriously. As when I got it, fully functioning Montgomery Ward with a 42 inch tiller. No. 40 inch tiller. 42 inch? I believe mower deck. One of the first drive over mower decks. Look at a little 16 horse Montgomery Ward single cylinder. Thing still runs like a dream. PTO, hydrostatic. With a five speed, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I don't think you guys seen that. I just got that a couple months ago. One of them Harbor Freight benchtop sandblast booths. Trust me, I've already got the upgrades in progress. Picked up this five gallon shop vac, bucket vac, for like, like five bucks a few weeks ago. Yeah, I got this sandblast booth right here for, I believe, $25. And it came with 50 pounds of magnesium oxide blast media, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use, but it came with it. The thing was brand new. As you can see, the one gun in there came with an extra gun. I've got a light up in there. Yeah. But yeah, hasn't even been used. He bought it and had it at his buddy's house, I believe. And then we got that big old Coleman over in the dark corner. Big old 5,000 watt generator. No feel in her. All stored proper. Then we got the crazy contraption that is the two seat go kart that I bought for the family. Gotta love go karts. This will be the first one I built. Uh, and we got back over to the workbench. I believe I made a video already about my welder and all that. Remote wire feed box and all that fun stuff. Uh, I ended up picking up a pedestal bender. Missing one or two parts. I think I got it for 20 bucks. Uh, oh yeah. You know you're a redneck when you're in your shop and you got a 12 foot John boat hanging from the flipping ceiling. I mean, really. You know you're a smart redneck who doesn't like to have sketchy loads when you have a trailer ready to be built on the wall. <laughs> uh, I gotta get that trailer built when my truck gets back together. Just replaced the intake gasket on it, what, two, three days ago. Went all great. And then, you know, the reason I was replacing the intake gasket is because I picked up the truck for 500 bucks. Somebody did the head, right? Did the head. Always a great sign. But... <laughs> drove it for shoot I think I drove it for two months month and a half two months before the intake gasket blew because it backfired into the intake and yeah day three of having that truck though I went and picked up this 1200 pounds of Montgomery Ward can call them traction I love this tractor my daughter's mini rail I'm building there I gotta finish that up before she gets too big Oh, oh, and I got one more tool. Oh, I guess I got a few more tools. I'll have to make a tool video for you. I'll show you all what I got at the moment. Got me one of them Cut 50 industrial grade. Was it the Cut 50D or whatever? But got me one of them Cut 50s. Thing works pretty good. In the process of finishing building a plasma pentagraph with it. Let's see if I can get a good picture of this thing. Oh. Well, you can see the regulator and a little bit of the other piece. Picked up an acetylene tank and regulator. One of them HVAC setups with the no OT required. 
traded a welder I picked up for at least 30 bucks, 40 bucks, traded it straight across for it. And we got all my woodworking tools and stuff. As you can see, <laughs> I got me a dust collector. Yeah. And you know what the nice thing is? It ain't even no freaking crappy central pneumatic. This thing right here is a grizzly industrial. It's one of the nicer ones for his budget. A little 110 with his 8 amp draw. But yeah, I picked this thing up for $25 today. I was so stoked. You know what was wrong with it? That little static detector inside of the back of the motor, when these sealed motors that detects whether there's a bunch of sawdust in the motor. I took it apart, cleaned it all the sawdust out of it, cleaned the contacts, cleaned up the surface of that detector, put it back together, and it seems to function perfectly good. Starts up every time now. Alright, anything else I want to bring up? Man, yeah, the only thing it was missing is right there, the little arm that holds up the bag broke off at some point, I think. So, I'm gonna, oh, <laughs> I guess after I eat my food, so my wife doesn't kill me for bringing it back in the house at 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm gonna fire up my three burner torch that I got from Harbor Freight to see if I can forge something for the first time in the shop. Forge me a little piece of round stock. Forge me a flat end on it. Use my little future mini anvil out of this piece of railroad track that I got from my father-in-law's property. But, yep. Hammer that out, put a couple holes in it so I can hang that bag up, get that bag hung proper. <laughs> it was funny. I had the box for the three burner torch <laughs> sitting on top of that. And without thinking, I turned that switch on. Pretty good reaction time to catch a box that big flying through the air that fast. Because I don't know if y'all have seen, but when you turn one of these on, if that bag ain't up, that bag goes up and about a half a second. It's, it was intense. I've never had one of these. I forgot about it. Don't forget about that. <laughs> That's why I'm making sure it's got the rod so I don't set stuff on it. Gotta love my bandsaw. You get that water bed set up for that thing. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, ho, ho. got me some of them Harbor Freight cheap bar clamps. Start me off with some bar clamps. Two of each size. Well, up to 36. I didn't get anything bigger than that yet. Got my levels and squares and stuff. Got my fire extinguisher, of course. Gotta always have at least one, preferably two. If you're a real smart three. Yes, my fire extinguisher is always behind the hood. Welding. It's badass. And made this little hanger, coat hanger with my boy a few days ago. And little hanger rods in my bender. Came out pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. Well, shoot. I think that's about it for tonight, guys. Um, I'm going to be a good husband and go eat my food so I don't get hurt when I go back in the house by bringing it in. I will talk to y'all later. This is Billy with Billy Goat Fabrication. Keep it real. Later.